Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Labi Ben Jafi State and today I am here for class 4 English version students. So dear students, today our subject is elementary science and today we will be going through chapter 5, hygiene. So let's start. So dear students, class 4, elementary science, chapter 5, hygiene. So students, at first we will go through some filling the blanks. Number 1. Waterborne diseases spread through contaminated water. Number 2. Cholera, dysentery and typhoid are waterborne disease. Number 3. A healthy lifestyle helps to keep and improve our health and well-being. Number 4. We can prepare safe water by boiling, filtering and using water purifying tablets. Now students, let's go through some tick marks. Number 1. When must we wash our hands? A. During eating. B. Before eating. C. Before using to toilets. D. During using toilets. So students, the correct answer will be B. Before eating. Number 2. What is an effect of moderate exercises? A. Strengthening muscles. B. Providing nutrients. C. Causing diseases. D. Relief from stress. So students, the correct answer will be A. Strengthening muscles. Number 3. What should we take when we suffer from diarrhea? A. Milk. B. Vegetables. C. Fish. D oral saline. So students you net know that if you have diarrhea you have to take oral saline. So the correct answer is D oral saline. So students let's go through some short question answers. A. Give two examples of waterborne diseases. Answer. Two causes of waterborne diseases are number one drinking contaminated water number two not washing hands before eating b give three names of the causes of waterborne diseases answer three names of the causes of waterborne diseases are number one diarrhea number two cholera number three so it will be typhoid Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. A. How can we prevent waterborne disease? Answer. The best way to prevent waterborne disease is to stop the transmission of germs. Some measures to prevent waterborne diseases are given below. Use of safe water. We have to use clean and safe water for drinking, preparing foods and bathing. We can prepare safe water by filtering, boiling and using water purifying tablets. Washing hands. We should wash hands with soap and safe water before eating, preparing food and after using toilets or playing. Keeping toilets clean. We have to use hygienic toilet and to keep toilet clean after using it in order to prevent waterborne diseases. Number B. What are the good habits to keep our body healthy? Answer. The best way to stay healthy is to follow the rule of good health and live a regular lifestyle. The following are good habits to keep our body healthy. Eating balanced diet. We must have to eat balanced diet to maintain good health. Every king of provides different nutrients that are necessary for our body. 
we should eat a balanced diet it will be diet along with drinking enough safe water to maintain good health regular exercises regular exercise and playing sports strengthens our heart muscles and bones it also makes us feel more confident and sleep better educate sleep we need educate sleep to give our body time to recover and growth of our body we should have a regular bedtime for having a good sleeping time to relax we should take some rest to get rid of tiredness and to regain energy for working ahead a hobby listening favorite songs reading books or working in the garden can help reduce our stress personal hygiene to stay healthy we must keep our body parts neat and clean c describe how to keep ourselves neat and clean answer we have to take care of our body to keep it neat and clean some steps are given below taking bath we should take bath with clean water and soap regularly washing hand we should wash our hands before and after meals brushing teeth we should brush our teeth regularly wearing clean clothes we also need to change or wear clean our clothes or regularly now students let's go through some matches here we can see a chart let's see the answer answer number one oral saline relieving diarrhea number two keeping toilet clean preventing waterborne disease number three relief from stress listening songs reading book number four personal hygiene keeping our body neat and clean now students let's go through some extra question answers number one what is waterborne disease answer waterborne disease is the disease caused by taking water contaminated with germs number two what can cause waterborne disease answer contaminated water can cause waterborne disease number three what are the symptoms of waterborne disease answer the symptoms of most waterborne diseases are loose motion vomiting fever and stomach cramps number four how to make oral saline at home answer oral saline can be prepared at home by using a pinch of salt and a handful of molasses or sugar with half liter safe water number number five why regular exercise is important for healthy life answer regular exercise strengthens our heart muscle and bones it also makes us feel more confident and sleep better number six how healthy lifestyle helps us answer a healthy lifestyle helps to keep improve our health and well-being number seven what is the best way to stay healthy answer the best way to stay healthy is to follow the rule of good health and live a regular lifestyle number eight why we need a time to relax answer we need a time to relax to get away from the stresses of everyday life number nine what kind of hobbies can help to reduce our stress answer a hobby like listening favorite songs reading books or working in the garden can help reduce our stress number 10 what do you mean by hygiene answer hygiene is keeping ourselves and our surroundings clean in order to maintain good health number 11 what is bacteria answer 
Bacteria is a tiny simple creature cannot be seen with naked eyes that get nutrients from their body in order to live. Number 12. How waterborne diseases can spread? Answer. We use water for drinking, preparing foods, bathing, washing or brushing teeth. We get waterborne diseases if we use contaminated water in this purpose. Number 13. Which types of uh, diseases are caused by contaminated water? Answer. Contaminated water can cause many types of diseases including diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, jaundice, and typhoid. Number 14. How can we prepare safe water? Answer. We can prepare safe water by filtering, boiling, and using water purifying tablets. Number 15. What should we do if we suffer from diarrhea? Answer. If we suffer from diarrhea, we should take oral saline. So dear students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.